first day of school, let's get a freshman, you know, mm-hmm. who hasn't been in here before. I, I'm a freshman, so. <laughs> there you go. So, Amaya, Fisher. what's your last name? Fisher. Amaya Fisher. Like the fish. <laughs> and like the fish. And you just finished your first day of high I school. I did. First half day. How did it go? It went pretty well. I liked it. The teachers were nice. The students were nice, too. I think my favorite was probably Spanish because Mrs. Peterson is full of energy. <laughs> She's wonderful. What, 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 that's awesome. So already she made an impact she on made day an one. Impact so on how, me, yeah. how so? What happened? What? Well, we just got in there and she's just like, hola, saying hi to everyone, just speaking in rapid Spanish. <laughs> and I don't know what it means, so I just kind of sit and nod, <laughs> play along. Sure, of course, why not, right? Mm-hmm. This could be totally wrong. But when you were talking about everyone being nice, did you expect people to be kind of mean, or well, is that like no, the high school but stereotype? I didn't expect anyone to be mean, mm-hmm. but it was just nice to know that nothing really changed, and it was still oh. fun to be around a bunch of people you don't know, and they're still nice to you, even if you don't know them. What were some of your expectations, I mean, some today? Of my yeah. expectations? Oh, jeez. I didn't expect it to... I expected it to take a bit longer than it did. I thought the day would drag on, but it didn't, so that was good. Um, I kind of, ex- I didn't really expect the teachers to be so nice and open to everyone. Hmm. Like, they shared a lot, and if, even the student, other students shared a lot, so that was fun. We got to see new people, see how, like, um, Mr. McClure, he's, 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 my algebra teacher, and mm-hmm. he, was, he was my first hour. He was a fun teacher to have. It's his first, first time teaching, so we're all, we're all in this together on that one. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So what, you say you like vocal ensemble. I do. So how, can you explain that? Like, what's, what do you like about it? What feel, what's Well, good? it's just, I like to sing. I like doing that kind of stuff. It's just kind of how I interpret it. Some other people may not like it, but that's okay because that's their opinion on the matter. My opinion is that singing is fun and I like listening to all the different harmonies, uh, meeting other people people there because (laughs) they're usually from theater sometimes Mm -hmm. and they can be energetic as well. Is vocal ensemble the higher It one? is. There's yeah, so did you have to audition for that? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there's choir, then vocal ensemble, and Bella Noche. Mm-hmm. Bella Voce, not Noche, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like an all-female singers, and then vocal ensemble is mixed, and then there's just the regular group. We did have to do auditions. It was fun when I got to see that I got to be and one of the higher ones was like, yay, I'm mm-hmm. good, I'm good enough. Yeah. Do you have a favorite musicians, like either musicians. that either that feed into the kind of music that you do in vocal ensemble or like pop artists? Like who, who do you listen to? <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't, I don't really listen to a specific kind of music. I just kind of listen to what's on because I like to listen to different things. Because it's just the variety is so different. I don't know. Oh, gotcha. Who's oh, on your iPod? Like, yeah. Who, yeah. 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 That's uh-huh. what I think. Of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, or what stations on your uh, stations, Spotify yeah. or something? Yeah. Um, I have Maroon Five on there. Megan Trainer. <laughs> whole album of songs from Wicked, the musical. <laughs> So you've mentioned theater like two times. Is I this like a th- okay? So you're going to be involved. <laughs> I am going to be involved. Um, awesome. I've done in two, three, two, okay. <laughs> two different um, musical productions, theater. So that was fun. I Which that. ones? What shows were you in? Um, I w- it was in Central Park Players for summer theater, and I did Peter Pan Jr. and Santa's Rockin' Christmas Eve. Oh. That was fun, because it was just kind of, it's like a musical about a TV show. Okay. And you got, it's, it's like set in the 90s, and it's really funny, because you got people dressing up in sparkly little suits, little glitter vests. It's mm-hmm. wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Cool. So do you think you'll be, I mean, you'll be involved here as well? Definitely. Yeah. 
When I was trying to contact you, I was totally stalking your Instagram, <laughs> and I found your piano videos. Oh, yeah. Like, this is, I was thinking, trying to think of questions to ask questions. today, and I was wondering, like, because all the songs that you picked, some of them I love, <laughs> what, what do you find, or how do you, like, emotionally connect to a song? Like, how do you choose your favorites? Oh, joy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, do you get emotional during them, or do you feel... I don't know. I just think it sounds pretty, and I want to be able to make that myself. Because I want to be able to do that and be able to hear it when I want to. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not, it's fun. It's different when you're playing it on the piano because it, <sighs> I don't really know how to explain it. It just feels like you're making something beautiful and it's, I love it. Mm. I love it a lot. How long have you been playing? Uh, I actually just started a couple of months ago started during the summer, started taking actual piano lessons. For that, I would just kind of tinker or look it up. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Since I could read music because of choir, and I would, my uh, keyboard at home, it has a small little screen above it, and you'd press a key and it'd show up on the staff on there, so I would be able to look at the two different things and be able to determine it. Piano technology. Piano te <laughs> Pianology. Pianology. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you do you play any sports? I do swim team. And that's I love the swim team so much. Everyone is so nice and spunky. Despite Amaya's enthusiasm and positivity, everyone gets a little nervous while thinking about their future. I think high school scares a lot of people. I know it scares me because that just means four more years until you're off on your own. And that terrifies me. What about it terrifies you? Because I don't know what I'm going to do. My mom's like, don't worry, you'll be fine. You have plenty of time to think about it. But it's down to four and it's just weird for me because I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to entertain. I know that. I want to make people laugh. I want to make them smile. <laughs> it's fun to do. I like it when other people laugh because it makes everyone happy. What do you get? What do you get from that? What do you get from that? We know what they get. They get a smile. What do you <laughs> get from that? I get the feeling that I get to make people smile. I get to make them happy, and that that makes me feel good. Cool. You seem to really go your own way. You got yeah. a flow about you. I got a flow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of neat because it's like you're yeah you're just not afraid to ask questions, and maybe that's mm -hmm. maybe that's the big part. What makes, so then another thought I had when you were talking about, like, friendship, like, so what, what do you make gr a great friend? Do you have, I mean, do you have some really good? I do. Yeah. I have a pretty nice clique. Yeah, cool. So what makes you all get we along? Can, we can just trust each other. Like, I know that I have friends who will come to me about something personal, and they know that they can trust me, and I, the per, to me, that feels really nice to know that they think that they can trust me with personal things, because I, I, I just makes me feel special. Like I, it's a privilege to have. Mm. It's cool. like a big group of sisters. Yeah, mm. fun, <laughs> fun. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you're not, you're not a female. <laughs> yes, I, I, I just don't know what that's like. You so, can but, have a big group of brothers, okay, we'll have our uh, groups of females, uh, sisters. That I can do. <laughs> and then you mentioned, um, in term, when you were talking about making people happy and <laughs> smile, and you said I, you want that in return because it... It, it would, like, affect you maybe if they oh. didn't or something. I wouldn't necessarily want that in return. It'd be nice, but making other people happy or smile or help them with their problems, that makes me happy. And, that, like, when people come to me when they're having trouble, it's just a nice feeling to know that you can be trusted and they want to come to you for help. Or why do you think that you want to be that person? I don't know. It's probably because I have gone to other people to ask for help, and we would talk through it. Like me and my mom, we'll talk to each other a lot. I'll go to her with my problems. And my mom's always telling me how she feels and how, like, how she feels about being the one that I go to. It makes her feel happy that... I trust her enough with this, and it makes me wonder what that's like, and it makes me want to kind of be like her, in a sense. But Amaya, thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming to the show. No problem. Great. And congrats on being a freshman. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned.
stay tuned next week for another episode of The Share Chair with our talented guest, Ben Baird. And a special thank you to Jennifer Craig Sorber and her lovely daughter for the thoughtful shout out.